as everybody says they want to see how I make stencils. Here we go. The software I use to uh, edit my drawings and my stencils is called GIMP, GNU Image Manipulation Program. I'm using version 2.10.14 today. And let's go on and I'll show you the image I've selected. Um, I did go in and edit it quite a bit. I made it so you really couldn't tell if it's male or female. It fits both sexes. Um, the checkerboard pattern in the back there is um, transparent. So first thing I want to do here is I want to scale this image. So I'm going to go up to image um, scale and I don't understand pixels so I'm going to set it up to inches and then I want it to be six inches tall and then it will automatically set the width so it stays in proportion. Um, so what's going to happen here is uh, my laser is going to follow the outline of this image like this. The only problem is is I got uh, two islands here. Uh, both in the arms and those won't cut out so well as a matter of fact they won't cut out at all and I'll show you at the very last uh, when the stencil is cut what happens with that so I need to make a couple extra layers in here so I can get rid of these two islands here and uh, it's fairly easy to do so just right click and duplicate layer right click duplicate the layer and then uh, I'm going to go in here and uh, rename these layers uh, 1, 2, and 1, 3. Make sure that uh, that little eyeball you see right there is what's displayed on the screen. The highlighted is what you're actually working on. So make sure you don't have something different highlighted than what you're working on. You'll end up messing up your stencil. So I want to select the second stencil so I can just eyeball it as I'm working on it. And I want to get rid of the arms first. So I'm going to go over here, just get the pencil, use the white color. You can use red, whatever color you want. And I'm just going to get rid of the arms here all the way down to those islands. Um, I'm going to end up making a couple stencils here. So let's go on up to select by color. I'm going to select the white. You can see it's selected. Edit clear. And then to get rid of the selection, those little highlighted marks, just go select none. And that's it for the first stencil. It's pretty easy. Now on the third one, um, I want to get rid of everything but the arms. So I'm going to do the same thing before. Go up here, select the pencil, and then I'm just going to start cutting out everything except for uh, the arms. Now I know there's easier ways to do this, but I don't mind a little bit of drawing. It's kind of relaxing to me. Getting rid of the top half, getting rid of the bottom half, and I want to get it all the way down to the island. Actually, leave the island in there. And you want to have a little bit of extra arm in there, so when you place this stencil down on top, you can see where it needs to be pretty easily, um, just by looking through the arms. So now that this is all done, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Um, select by color, click the white, edit clear, select none, and there we go. That's my final stencil. Now all I need to do is save them. I want to save them as GPG files. It's my laser cutter software seems to work best with that. So I'm just going to go to File, Export, and I'm going to change the uh, prefix here from GIF to JPG. And that's all you need in GIMP to save something as a uh, JPG. Then hit Export, and then click Export again. And it is saved in the directory where I started from. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second and the third one. Pretty easy to do. And then uh, let's get on to my laser cutting software. I can show you how I do it there. So to me, this is the fun part of the operation. The software I use to control my laser is called T2 Laser. It's a commercial program. I think it cost me about 20 bucks. Um, I've already loaded in um, the first stencil. And to make the outline, just go to that mountain icon and right-click it. That's it send it to the laser. I'm just going to go up to this USB looking icon and click it. And right now the G code is generating and there's all my G code. And to send it to my laser, all I do is click the mail icon and it cuts it out. And that's basically it for T2 laser. So this is the inside of my laser. I built this little box so that uh, all the fumes the laser generates will go out the window. I'm pressing a little button on the top and it uh, turns the laser on low power. And I can check it to make sure that it's lined up with the little X that uh, I've drawn on the paper. 
and then uh, make sure you turn this little button off because if you don't then what it's going to do is going to cut it uh, low power so let's see how what the laser looks like so here's our laser up the right hand corner you can see the two fans and uh, apologize for the beginning because uh, that laser is really bright and it oversaturates the camera no matter what I've done I can't figure out how to make it so you can uh, see it halfway decently you can see the laser beam going down and hitting the paper and you can see the fumes coming up it's a UV laser so it's actually invisible um, to the naked eye except for where it hits the paper and uh, I got it set on three cuts so this is the first cut and uh, once we get to the second and third cut I'm gonna go ahead and uh, speed it up but I'll shut up now and uh, you guys can just uh, watch the laser cut So here's the stencils I made here. Um, I set my laser on on 60% and cut it out three times. The reason I do that is the laser is uh, it's really hot and it has a tendency to uh, really burn and scorch the paper uh, sometimes. Here is, uh, as you can see, the, the pieces just pop out of, uh, of the stencils here, especially this big one without the arms. really nice and I can take these and you can see how they line up and that's how I'm gonna cut it what I wanted to show you this on this first stencil here is those islands I was talking about so here's the cutout of the paper here here we go and you can see what I'm talking about um, those little islands here and here put this over here so you get a better look at it so here's the island here's the island so it just cuts this whole thing out here and it leaves this and this now this really isn't a stencil um, this is kind of like leftover paper but I am going to use this when I uh, when I do the painting so the laser I have is uh, 2500 milliwatts I do three passes on it um, you can find the information down in the description and you can find all the links down in the description also. So I hope this helps you guys out um, on how to make your own stencils. All right, so there you go. Um, in a nutshell, how I make stencils. I didn't want this to be a full-on tutorial because that would probably take hours and hours and hours of videos. And I want my channel to be more about uh, painting than about how to make stencils. But if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I'll try my best to answer them. I've uh, got a couple videos here and here for you to watch if you're interested. Um, pretty soon after I get part two up, I'm going to put it right there so you guys can go right to part two and watch me use the stencils in a painting. Really appreciate a like and a subscribe, guys. Worked really hard on this one. So I hope you guys have a good day, good evening, wherever you're at. Cheers.